in this video, we're going to look again at application of quadratic equation. Now in this, this is a word equation. You have to form an equation and then solve it. So <clears throat> let's read the equation. Farmer, Farmer McDonald has 24 meters of fencing wire and builds a rectangular pin using an existing, existing fence as one side. The area A in meter square is to be maximized. So this is a crucial word. You want to maximize the area. Okay. So if it is to be maximized, so what's the question? Find X, which is the width of the pen by using the, by which the maximum area can be obtained. Okay, so here I have uh, copied and pasted from Google uh, of a farm with a fence. So imagine this is Farmer McDonald's farm and this is an already prepared fence. And he wants to make a pen yeah, somewhere here. Yeah. Okay, so this is this fence is this fence. Does it make sense? This fence is this fence okay so this is the existing fence and the, he wants he has only 24 meters of fencing wire so so he's not going to use the fencing wire here he's going to use the wire along here here and here so these are three places that he's going to use the wire so i will say let this be the length or l Okay, so I hope you understand L plus X plus X should be equal to 24 meters. This length plus X plus X would give 24. Okay, so yeah. So can we write L plus 2X? I'm not going to write meters now. This is equal to. 24. So what is our L? If you make L the subject, it will be 24 minus 2x. Okay, so we have written L in terms of x. So this is L is 24 minus 2x. Now you want to maximize the area. The area of a rectangle is length times width. Okay, so let me scroll down. So I can say area is L times X. Okay. Therefore area. Now we know a, area, uh, sorry, L is 24 minus 2X. So that is 24 minus 2X times X. So I can write now A is nothing but, I'll put this in the bracket, is same as X times 24 minus 2x minus 2x okay so this is the function or this is a function of area in terms of x now if you look at this this is a quadratic equation so if you want to simplify this a little if you expand a is equal to 24x minus 2x squared okay now this is a quadratic equation and we want to solve it so so if we graph this if you draw the parabola of this it will be an upside down parabola okay so yeah so let us uh, factorize this so so I'm going to say let let my a let a be equal to y. So I can write y is equal to 24x minus 2x squared. Okay, so here, so let us factorize this so you can factor out a 2x. I hope you can understand. You factorize it, factor out a 2x, you'll have 12 minus x okay 
So y is equal to 2x times 12 minus 2x. Okay. So let me scroll up. So, so let us find the x-intercept, the y-intercept, and the vertex. Okay. Always good to graph it. So x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. So I can say, okay, 0 is equal to 2x times 12 minus x. Now you have to use the logic. 2x is a number and 12 minus x is also a number. So we are thinking, we are asking ourselves, if this is a number, this is a number, and product of two numbers is equal to 0. So let me rewrite this. I have done this in many videos. I'll do this again. So if a times b, if suppose a and b are numbers, and if product of two numbers is equal to 0, I can say a is should be 0 or b is equal to 0. You can write or and and. That means a, if a is 0, 0 times b is 0. And if b is 0, a times 0 is 0. If both of them are 0, 0 times 0 is 0. Okay, so I can say you can compare 2x with a and your 12 minus x with b. So I can say, okay, then 2x has to be 0, 12 minus x is 0. Okay, so this means x is 0 or x is equal to 12. So these are my x-intercepts. Okay, so what are the y-intercepts? y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. Okay, so let me write the equation again. y is equal to, so where is my equation? y is equal to 2x times 12 minus x. So let me write that again. 12, sorry, it is 2x times 12 minus uh, it is 2x times 12 minus x. Here we go. This is 2x times. So I'm going to set x is equal to 0. If x is equal to 0, this is 0. This is 0 times 12 minus 0, which is 0 times 12, which is 0. So the y-intercept is 0. Okay. That means, okay. And well, how do you find the vertex? Vertex is halfway between the x-intercepts. So what's, what are your x-intercepts? The x-intercepts are 0 and 12. So what is halfway between 0 and 12? So you add them and divide it by 2. So 0 plus 12 is 12. And that divided by 2 is 6. So I'll write xv, which stands for the vertex, x value of the vertex is 0 plus 12 divided by 2, which is 6. So my y, v, or the y value of the vertex, I'm going to put this back into this equation. Okay, so that is 2 times 6, bracket 12 minus x, sorry, 12 minus 6, not x. In place of x, I'm, going, I'm putting 6. So this will simplify to yv is equal to 12 times 6, which is 72. So my vertex would be 6, 72. I will continue this in the next video.